Okay, so in today's lesson we looked at the four accounting concepts which you need to know for your exam next week. And the first one we looked at was the GAN concern concept. And we used this scenario where um, John, the trader, um, is going to cease trading in the next accounting period. And the question was, um, using the GAN concern concept, how would you value the closing inventory? Well, if a company is not going to continue to trade, you have to value the inventory and all the other assets at the um, breakup value or what you think you're going to be able to sell them for not what you originally would plan to sell them for if you continue to trade. So it will be £40 for the bench, each bench. And just to remember that if the business was going to continue, you still wouldn't value it at £150. You'd always value your um, closing inventory at the cost price. Or the only way you would value it at selling price if it's the selling price was actually lower than the cost price. Okay, next one is consistency. Uh, this one we looked at this particular beer where he normally appreciates using the reducing balance but then he thinks he will swap it round to using the straight line method because you know, ultimately it will give him a, a, a lower lower expenses and high profit and he thinks he's really been quite good about it well in fact he can't in accountancy we have to be consistent each year so for example depreciation using the same depreciation method the same percentages and the same depreciation for the different types of um, the same type of assets um, that is to say, you you can change though, but you have to have a good met, um, good reason for it, and you must be you must have to disclose that in your accounts to tell everybody why. Okay, the third one was this one, prudence, and essentially the scenario was a particular trader was bankrupt and they can't pay the five thousand pounds they actually owe. And when a business is 100% sure they cannot, a customer cannot pay, and they've done everything they can to get the money, they have to write off the debt. And by writing off, I mean reduce the trade receivables by the 5,000 and show an expense, which is called a bad debt. And that is prudence because it's basically showing that that's the most careful, most conservative thing to do. You're not going to value your assets, which includes the amount which a customer's not going to pay. You're going to show it after you've taken that amount out because you're never ever ever going to receive it. And the last one is the accruals concept. So this one we had the roofer, he completed his job on at the end of October and he invoiced the customer on that date. The customer paid on 6th of November which you will later see that is irrelevant in terms of how we account for expenses and income and then the builder or the roofer wants to record the sale in the following year's accounts. We know that under the accruals concept, we need to match the expenses and the revenue. Obviously, he completed the job, used up the materials in the year to 30th of October. You have to record the sale in the current year, the same year, because it matches the expenses of buying all those materials. And then, if you look at the PowerPoint size, you'll see there's lots of examples of the accruals concept and the ones that you've actually been doing in class, but you probably haven't known that you've been doing it. So, have a look at those as well. Go through the slides, have a quick look at all the different examples of all the four concepts and you'll be ready for the exam next week. That's it.